the public information officer for Birds Aren't Real, Peter McIndoe. Uh, Peter, thank you for, for joining us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. I'd like to ask you, before you control the narrative in this conversation, why are you having me on the show? I know you. I looked you up. I Googled you. I know you're with the media. So why do you? Well, yeah, you, I, you, yeah, you have me on your show to laugh at me. No, no. Um, we we was, had it. Sorry, bring, bringing the bird guy on the show to laugh at him. No, uh, no, not bringing you on to laugh at you, Peter. Uh, it, and honestly, there's no reason for you to be that defensive. Uh, brought you on because uh, this week we did have a writer on talking about uh, who had done a extensive book on people who believe in the flat earth theory. And I thought uh, it might be a good follow-up to have someone on who believes in another theory. And that theory uh, give you a full opportunity to discuss what you, what that theory is. I mean, folks, you see how the media does it, you know, <laughs> You see, I would have preferred maybe to be compared to, hey, look, look at Guggenheim who made progressions with the atom. You know, here's people in history who have done important things. Here's, here's revolutionaries, George Washington, ever heard of John Adams? But no, I get compared to the flat earth, the people who believe the earth is flat. There, I... Okay. All right. Just, that's a fair. That's a fair critique. I just want people watching this to see to see how they do it. They put me up next to the next to the flat Earth people, and then they have me talk. Okay. Uh, um, I, that's that's a, that's a fair critique. I am sorry about that. I will let you. Um, I don't know what controversial uh, theory that Sam Adams had, or John Adams, or, or oh, George. Yeah, he had at the time was very controversial. Three. Uh, it was set, freedom. That was the name he had. It was very controversial at the time. The times weren't with it. But you know what he did? He oh, went. He, he stormed the. He stormed the British gates. He had no fear, and he took over and made the United Land of America. And that was controversial at the time. Well, what I'm doing is controversial. But frankly, oh, I understand. Uh, but I mean, to be fair, Peter, like the there's there's the the idea that you're both controversial is not, I think, a fair uh, comparison. He was controversial because he had an opinion and an ideology, but you are making some factual assertions that, um, and, and why don't you tell people what those factual assertions are? I mean, there's no reason to be this combative. Okay, I just, I just know how the establishment lib media works, okay? I know you and Al Roker and Chris Cuomo and your big, your big establishment buddies, are all, are all hanging out, laughing at the little guy. So, you know, I'm not trying to come on combative. I just, I looked you up. I know that you're with okay. the, the, the Let's, Young Turk. I just, no, I just, yeah. I'm just being cautious. I'm just no. being cautious. I want to share my ideas. I just, to be quiet, I mean, I don't want to come on your show defensive. I'm sorry. I uh, just. Can we, clip? we can play a clip of. Can we play the clip, please? This is a clip of. Uh, you, we can do the the one from when you were on television on a local uh, station, or uh, or we can do. Yeah, the, here. This is from live, like a uh, three. What channel three? Channel three. Where is this channel? Okay. Well, let's just play it. Consider myself to be an average American. I wake up in the morning, wash my car. And I have an avid disbelief in avian beings. Maybe you've seen the billboard near the Highland Strip or heard the story on Wednesday's Live at Nine. A campaign called Birds Are Not Real brings its efforts to the Mid-South. And this morning, we are joined by one of the messengers of the movement. Peter McIndoe is here to tell us how this all came about. We want to emphasize you were not the founder. No, ma'am. We put the billboard here because we wanted to bring it to the biggest city in the world. You know, the Paris of the West. Uh, so we brought it to Memphis, Tennessee. From 1959 through 2001, the government mercilessly genocided over 12 billion birds and simultaneously replaced them with surveillance drones in disguise. Sometimes I'll travel internationally, go to the Himalayas, just to breathe the drone-free air. So this is really satire. I mean, you don't really believe that that happened, correct? This is a satirical uh, campaign to make the point that what? 
<laughs> you're, you're looking at me like, no, it's not satire. I really do believe this. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of offensive. Okay. Um, okay. We do not well, find this to there, be a okay. humorous right. issue. There, we, let's. Okay. So, so there it is. There's. Uh, so, the, your your assertion is that the United States government has killed all the birds and replaced them with drones. Is that right? That's right. And as you can see, I've had some bad experiences with the media. You know. Um, so that's where my that's where my defensiveness comes from. I'm often brought on to be laughed at. So uh, just coming on with go with my guard up, but yeah, that's my that 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 is what our movement stands for. If you really want to know, it's it, we talk about how the U United States government wiped out uh, twelve billion birds. They extinguished them and, and whisked them out like a light bulb. And uh, well, they had crop dusting airplanes. I mean, this okay. If you really want to get into the facts, people can look this up. And this is not information that. <laughs> You know, the media usually wants out there. So, Sam, thanks for giving the platform. Um, you know, uh, frankly, a lot of your viewers, I know a lot of you are on YouTube looking for truth like a lot of us. I am, too. Um, and uh, but the, the real truth can be found in documents and tapes that only I have access to, along with a couple other people, unfortunately, that reveal that the United States government uh, launched crop dusting airplanes across the United States. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why do you have access to these documents and, 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 and only a few other uh, uh, people? Why don't you release these documents? I mean, these documents were I mean, we have released some. We released the, we released the Poultry Gate email leak of early 2021 where huge Hollywood elites, uh, politicians I, I, I ever heard of Ted Cruz. Um, were involved in in the bird drone surveillance crisis. It revealed a lot. It revealed that they're hollowing out the mountains around America and putting uh, drone factories inside the hollowed out mountains. Hollywood elites were involved in the making of the drone factories inside the mountains. I don't know if you're familiar with, um, some would say America's greatest renovator named uh, Ty Pennington from Extreme Home Makeover. The United States government consulted him to renovate the insides of most mountains in America, renovate them out and turn them into drone surveillance factories. And if people would turn off their freaking TVs and stop watching these, these, these freaking talking heads and actually look into, I mean, the actual research, you know, if you start asking why a couple times, things start falling apart, you know, real quick with well, the whole let me, ask, let me ask, why would you have a drone factory inside a mountain why wouldn't you just have it in a drone factory well you see you see sam because if you were to have massive bird drone factories with workers out in public i mean we're making 12 billion drones here you know that's a lot of drones and don't that's how many drones don't you need workers huh? in the mountains, in the hollowed out mountains? Isn't it workers doing it in the hollowed out mountains? I mean, what difference does it make if it's in a factory or a hollowed out mountain factory? A lot of land space. I mean, it takes an incredible amount of land mass. I mean, to make one bird drone, it takes, you know, roughly 10 by 10 yards for the machinery may, you know, you know, required. So we're talking imagine, imagine, if, imagine if you hollowed out the Appalachian mountains, truly how much landmass there there would be under that you don't think people are tapped into that yeah you don't think you don't think some people have stumbled upon doorways have you seen the clips so i went on a little hike went on a little hike i'm, I'm on the side of the mountain oops stumbled upon a doorway I'm not uh, seeing it, this happens to people all the time what where can i see the clips of people stumbling onto doorways in the appalachian mountains Oh, I mean, you have to do to do your own research. I don't know. I mean, I know you're you're probably on, you know, the big media, uh, the big media websites. But, man, there's a lot of great information out there uh, on. I mean, I I really just get my information from birds on real dot com because that's the one that I know I can trust. Uh, so, I mean, my website. Yeah, my I do put the information. I mean, it's not I it's not my information. I'm the one who goes on Squarespace and puts it on the website. But it's legitimate documents and emails. And I and you said that's the one place that you go to find information that you trust. You put the information up there. Yeah, I don't trust anybody but myself. 
my understanding is that you are also having a um, a rally that is upcoming, the Media Freedom March. The Media Freedom March, yeah, it's coming up. We're we're, we're excited about it. We had a lawsuit against the New York Times that was pretty um, highly publicized. Uh, I launched. Yes, I launched a full-fledged attack against the New York Times. They released a defamatory story about us. And, and you know what, Sam? I don't take that lightly. When the media... I'm just saying, man, I'm coming on this show um, expecting to be bashed. I'm standing in front of you right now, Sam, with 10 flaming arrows in my back. I've had the worst three months. The media has come after me from every angle. They're calling us a parody. They're calling us a joke. They're calling. They're calling me a, some kind of some kind of jokester, and I, um, you know, I don't think they would do that to any other movement around right now. So we launched. We launched. We launched. We launched, we launched for libel. I'm sorry. We launched lawsuits. We, we launched lawsuits for libel. That's what you do when you get lied about on a mass platform. I reached out to, to my lawyers, Mo and Marley at Lieberman and Reese. And we got some stuff together um, and formally sued CNN and formally sued the New York Times. Um, and uh, I was feeling really uh, confident about it. I was feeling really good. Um, but then we got this email from the New York Times general counsel office that I didn't really understand that kind of brought me down to earth. Um, and we had to retract the lawsuit today, which sucks. Um, but... We are redirecting our energy outside of suing the corporation. We placed a curse on the journalist that smeared us, an ancient curse um, that's going to bring her pain in her life and suffering for generations. Um, and I hope it does cause her the, a fraction of the suffering she's caused me. Because when you lie about people on the front page of the New, of the New York Times, you know, I, you know what that I, does to a man? No, well, out I, in the streets? Yeah, I can imagine. But I, I got... I, I I don't think that you were on the front page of the New York Times. Look it up. See, this well, is the thing about the lib media. This this is the thing about the establishment lib media. Um, hey hey hey! If anybody's around the house, can you bring me a copy of the New York Times? Um, they don't they don't do they don't do their research. Uh, if you look it up. We were on the front page of the New, of the New York Times being blatantly who, lied. Who are you calling to bring you a page of the New York Times? No, oh, I've got some staff around here. We're, 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 we're around an Airbnb where we're having, we're organizing, we're doing some plans for the Media Freedom March that's, that's coming up. Because that, that's the thing. The media comes after you. They smear your name. Okay. What, how, how, how can you fight back? So you sue. You sue them. But then, oh, they have more money and you don't you don't have a case. Oh, you don't you don't even have a case. Blah, 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 blah. You know, um, and then it goes from that to um, what else are you supposed to do except take to the streets, Sam, except get out in the streets. And I'm going to bring my van. I'm going to bring my son. And I'm going right to where I know all the media lives, probably where you have a house on this street. I hear about over in over in Hollywood called Hollywood Boulevard. All right. Well, all listen. Let me just say, I did not realize that there was, in fact, a uh, an article, and uh, I apologize. Um, Thank you. December tenth, twenty twenty one, section A, page one. Is this is this true? Page Gen one. Conspiracy with wings and a wink. Okay. All right. Well, uh, then I I stand corrected. I want to make that clear. Have been wrong once again by the truthers who will continue to tell the truth while the media will lie to you folks i want you to think about this guy you're watching every day this guy you're watching every day just told you a lie right in front of the guy's lying about and then did a good google search. and I hey i respect i respect you for retracting i had to retract something today it happens in life you know i had to retract a lawsuit today it happens um but i just want i just want people to treat us with a bit more respect and look at this pain and war that I've been brought through in the past three months where the entire media is ripping me apart all over the place. Then you try to sue them. You get told that you would actually get sued because you're, you're committing the actual libel. Ugh. And then, uh, yeah, so we're holding a media freedom march, a protest on Hollywood Boulevard. We're taking the fight to the media's front door on March 30th at 530 Pacific time. 
and anybody's invited. It's on Hollywood Boulevard. We're going to be out, in, out inside of the Chinese theater. I'm going to be there with my van. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, hey, since they won't let my voice be heard in the courtroom, it'll, the courtroom, it'll be heard on the streets. It'll be heard okay. on the streets. I, I want the streets of Hollywood to shake so much that the letters come tumbling down. The Hollywood sign letters come tumbling down from the hills like an avalanche. Okay. Well, um, good luck with that. And uh, it's uh, birdsaren'treal.com. Is that right? Birdsaren'treal.com. Come there for the only true sources of information you can find anywhere right now. Okay. Well, uh, Peter McIndoe, uh, thank you. Thank you for coming on and interesting, interesting theory. Thanks. All right. Wow. Ah, uh, boy. Okay. There you go. Uh, between the 101 and the five, ask him about the bird's feather in his hat. Isn't that evidence of the existence of birds? And it's a good point. And I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I was, I was admittedly thrown off by the New York times article. Didn't realize. Well, uh, uh birds aren't real.com folks can check that out. I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I, I, I'm, I'm, Quite convinced that birds aren't real. I mean, our birds are real, excuse me. But, uh, yeesh. All right. Um, we're going to have a, a short and fun half today. So we'll do a, a freebie Friday. We um, lost an hour today. People are saying that the sound was good for that guy and wanting to know why the sound was good for that guy, but no one else for the entire week. So that's what the, it's conspiracy weird sort of wanted not couldn't hear the woman who wrote about the conspiracy theorists but you could hear the conspiracy theorist so i don't know i don't know what to tell you um whew. uh sailor from discordia guys please let peter mackendo be a regular guest on friday so we can keep us to date on the bird genocide updates from way back and boogers not, are not real. Why is the audio from every single guest this week been garbled? But this guy's he's coming through loud and clear. Conspiracy theory. Matty Light, I actually feeling bad for this dude. I don't think he's a jokester. I think there's serious mental issues and he's delusional and believes these things. It's kind of not funny. Um, Socialist Bear, holy shit, this joke is six years, uh, uh, was old six years ago. We get it. Birds aren't real. Sorry, after the last several years of nut jobs and power denying reality, there isn't really anything funny about this guy. Reality is more satirical than this guy. Chardonnay Socialist says, birds are definitely not, are not real. I feel that you need to spread the word via my chest and back. Are you guys going to print more of these sold out t-shirts on your website anytime soon? North Dakota Llama. Sam, this is your CIA handler. Cease this interview. The man knows too much. Please eat the batch of cookies we will be sending over shortly. Semper Fi. Uh, 